Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Conquest. In this episode, we will be doing stuff in Kerbal Space Program. Yes. Um, this rocket is a moon rocket. Mun, not moon. Mun rocket that's designed to go to the mun and rescue two people. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert, it didn't do that because it failed. It only rescued one person. So it didn't have enough Delta V to rescue the other one because the other Kerbal was going in an orbit that was the opposite of the first one. And it takes a lot of Delta V to reduce your orbit. Um, um, here, that was me landing the booster because I'm playing in career mode and money. You need to save money. If the booster landing looked kind of weird, that's because I'm experimenting with trying to make it brighter because it's dark in the night, so brighter is good. Maybe, possibly. Um, also, because YouTube like messes with videos and makes them look darker. So it was bright enough in my video editor, but on YouTube it might still not be bright enough, which would be sad. Anyway, that's me getting in... On the screen right now, I'm getting into an orbit to rendezvous with the other sh ship that I'm supposed to rescue. Um, this is the Kerbal that I'm rescuing. They're flying over to the capsule. Yay, good for them, I guess. Uh, I'm not flying this Kerbal very well. Wait, do you fly Kerbals? Like, EVA? Is EVA a verb? No, it's not. That That's a noun. Is it, or is it an adjective? No, that's not an adjective. Anyway, now I'm escaping the mun to go back down to Kerbin so that I can land. And this is another s spot where I've ma made it look lighter, brighter. What, do you say lighter or brighter? It's one of them. I think it's brighter. Might be wrong. This is my second moon rocket because I failed to go to the to rescue the second Kerbal with my first moon rocket. So this is like the new and improved version, which has a smaller capsule because the previous capsule was too big for two Kerbals. It fit three Kerbals. This capsule is from the Making History DLC. It's the Mark II cockpit. No, capsule. Mark II cockpit. And... Yeah, um, I'm landing the booster again. It, it's cool. This time I landed on the right side because I I actually had enough fuel to choose my landing location, which is nice. Um, I did that maneuver, the the like spin maneuver thingy before landing, because if you landed straight down then it would hit zero meters per second, and then it would, so the parachutes would undeploy, and then it would start falling over. So it would hit hit the hit the water and crash into the water and break. But if you hit landed at a slight angle, then the, you would never hit zero meters per second. So the parachutes would never undeploy, and the parachutes would be able to slow it down from falling sl sideways, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't make sense. Because I'm not good at making sense. Well, un unless, l like, sense as in money, like S, no, C-E-N-T-S. I'm, I'm also not good at making those either. So, so yeah, I'm not good at making sense. Uh, so, now on the screen, I'm getting into an orbit to rendezvous with the, the second capsule. And this is another part where I made it brighter or lighter or whatever you call it um, using video editing. But this time I was actually able to get the Kerbal into the capsule faster. Yeah, go me. I'm rescuing Kerbals for money because I, I got contracts to rescue Kerbals for money. 
talk, I need, just need to talk about random things, random f filler stuff that, like, no one cares about. Um, now the capsule is re-entering, and this is an yet another part where I made it brighter in video editing. And the capsule landed, yay. Rocket number three, the third and final rocket. It's slightly modified. It's the same rocket as the last one, but it has science units on it. Because this one's going to EVE. Because they got a contract to fly by EVE and collect science data. Yay, g good for me, I guess. Um, I don't know. Um, need something to talk about. Um, well, now the booster's landing. Yay. This time, I actually tried to land near the Kerbal Space Center. And look, I, I like made it. I passed right over it. And I landed like right next to the island runway. And I did that maneuver again where I flip the flip maneuver so I land on the sides and the parachutes don't get undeployed. Now I'm trying to um, get a home and transfer to Eve. I want Eve to be 54 degrees behind Kerbin so that I can go to it with less with less fuel expended. Um, yes. Um, this is now I'm doing a burn to get to Eve. Eve burn. Um, I I set up the burn so that I would leave Kerbin along Eve's retrograde. I mean, along Kerbin's retrograde a axis. So that uh, my velocity would be subtracted from Kerbin's rather than added, because Eve is below Kerbin. Um, and now Bob Kerman, I think that's his name, is getting science data from the science units, and he's collecting it so that he can bring it back into the capsule, because you need science data to beat career mode, and that's what I'm trying to do. I just end up set. Up, I just set up a maneuver node to try to um, get a better encounter with Eve so that I would fly closer to its surface so I can get data from space low above Eve and space high above Eve because then you get more science. Which is good, I guess, maybe? Well, getting more science is always good, so I don't know what the question is here. Um. Yeah. No, I'm on my way to Eve, um, because Eve is cool. It's the easiest planet to get to if you're not landing on it, but landing on it is, like, super hard. In the next episode, I'll probably go to Gilly, because Gilly's, like, the easiest thing to land on that's not in Kerbin's sphere of influence. And because I got science data from this mission, which allowed me to unlock the nerve engine, which is cool. Um, if, and during the, that flyby of Eve, I forgot to um, do the thing. I forgot to get an EVA report, so I missed out on some science. Yay, boo me, I guess. Now, on the screen, I'm re-entering Kerbin. This time, I was actually good at the game, so I re-entered Kerbin on the light side which is what you're supposed to do because it's brighter and easier to see things. Or would you say it's lighter? I don't know. I, I, I don't English. I can't English? Which one's better grammar? I don't know because I can't English. <laughs>